I know I've been a little bit slow at getting videos posted the last couple of weeks, but I've been trying to keep up with my garden and get everything canned and ready for longer term storage. And so let me show you what I've got done so far. And today I'm going to finally start a project that I've been putting off. I really wanted to replace this item with a side table that I could update to match the rest of the furniture in this room. But we really haven't been able to get out and about to find something. So I'm just going to update this dresser. It's just a faux wood kind of particle board, inexpensive item. And so I'm going to do it the same way that I did my curio cabinet with some sandpaper, rough it up a bit, and use some paint. It is very functional. It works perfectly fine. I just don't like the overall look of it. It doesn't match anything in this room. So I'm finally going to tackle this project. And it may take a couple of days because I do have an appointment later this afternoon and some other things I need to get done. But I'm going to get started and we'll see what I can get done. So let's get to it. I just started sanding down the dresser and I figured out really quickly this was going to be messy. So I didn't get much done this day since I had an appointment and had other things I wanted to get done. And I decided to wait so I could move the dresser into a different area of the room and use a drop cloth. Less mess equals less cleanup. So I was glad to go ahead and put it off and come back to it another day. So I got to work sanding down the dresser and sanding is definitely not one of my favorite things to do for a project but I needed to give the exterior of the dresser just kind of get rid of the sheen rough it up just a little bit so the paint would have something to adhere to. So after I was done sanding the dresser, I just took a damp cloth and wiped the dresser all down to try to remove as much dust as possible.
so I got to work painting the dresser and I knew this was going to be a bit of a process. I just used a simple paintbrush and some inexpensive white paint and I believe it ended up taking about three coats of paint before I got the coverage that I wanted. And this project was a little time consuming just because of having to let the paint dry in between each coat. If you follow me on Instagram then you probably saw a sneak peek of this project over there. I did share it while I was sharing some other things that I had picked up at dollar stores for fall and so I do share other things over there. If you would like to follow me on Instagram I will have that linked in the description below. So this is what the dresser is looking like right now. I have about three coats of white paint. The third coat's drying. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to painting the top of the dresser. And I'm gonna paint it black. I want it to coordinate with the other pieces of furniture in this room. They are actually made of real wood. And I recently redid those and I will put a link somewhere up above if you'd like to check those out. But I painted them white except I stained the tops of those a deep dark stain and added a little bit of black. So I'm gonna paint the top of this one black to kind of coordinate at least somewhat. It's definitely not gonna look the same because this is a faux wood inexpensive dresser and those are really nice pieces of furniture. But I do want it to coordinate at least a little bit better than it was before. So that is what I'm gonna work on next. coverage that I want for this piece I'm just going to use a piece of sandpaper and go around the edges rough it up in different areas to give it more of a distressed farmhouse look so it will coordinate better with the other pieces in this room and also if the paint does happen to chip off anywhere on this piece it will just kind of blend in and you won't really notice that it chipped because it will look distressed anyway so that is what I'm going to work on next. is done and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It turned out even better than I thought it would. I wasn't really sure how it was going to go and if I was going to like the look of it, but I'm actually really pleased with how it turned out. So now I just need to clean up all of my mess, put this back in place, and I can call this project done. And here is another look at the before and the after and it always amazes me what a little bit of work and some paint can do to update an item. I hope you enjoyed this project and this video and thanks for watching.